Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? I'm Bill Carrington. I come to you in this video because uh, I, I've had people email me, ask me to do a video on uh, those who are bullying other people with the different stuff that's been in the news and on the internet about bullying. It's, uh, it's a very sad, sad thing that uh, all of us hate to hear about and to know that uh, someone else is trying to control someone's life by threatening them in, in all kinds of ways, belittling them, being smart to them, being arrogant, being abusive, all for what reason? To show someone else that you, have, that you are going to try to be dominant and be powerful over them. As we've all seen, or so many of us have seen over the internet where this young man was minding his own business, another young man comes up to him, says a few words, and then punches him in the face, and then attempts to do it a couple more times, and then some, throw some other blows, and then the young man snaps, and then he slams the other young boy. Just lucky the other young boy did not get his neck broke or his back broke. I think he messed up his leg. But all that could have been stopped. There was people around him that could have stopped it. But no, some of them acted on. Others walked away in fear. And others videotaped it. And it's a shame that all the family members, after seeing and viewing the interviews of the other, of all the family members, how each one had to watch their child go through abuse. The young boy who was receiving the abuse, and then the, when the young boy slammed the other young boy, and then they had to watch their child go through that abuse. And it, this young man has said time and time again, this wasn't the first time that, that he has been picked on a lot of because of his weight. And that and it's so sad to know that someone will try to make fun of another person, run that person down, Tell them that they're no good, that they're not worth it, they're not worth anything over their weight or the way they look or maybe the way they talk, the way they walk. Then this other lady, all she's doing is riding a bus and being a monitor. Just riding a bus. A grandmother, a mother, a grandmother, a sister. All she's doing is riding the bus, keeping an eye on the children, and the children go after her. And you watch this little old lady, God bless her soul, sit there and take that, that verbal abuse, and no one tries to stop her. She breaks down in tears and cries, and they videotape that. What a shame. And it's a shame, just a shame that that goes on in our country. But it's not only here, it's around the world. It is time for us, America, to stand up. Because if we see this that has been videotaped in place so where we can view it, then what about all the abuse that is going on that we do not get to see? What about those who are out there suffering right now who are thinking about suicide because someone is trashing them. Someone is picking on them, threatening their life, telling them they're no good day in and day out and they think the only way out, there's nothing that's going to save them other than suicide. Now you tell me, what do you think about that? Now that is a shame, isn't it? To know that another person, 
so scared, so afraid, so full of fear. They cannot stand up for themselves because they are so weak that they sit there and say, Lord, I have no other choice. To you that are out there that are victims, to you that are suffering with this pain, there is help. There is help out there for you. If you are so depressed and you are put in a situation where other individuals are threatening your life, will not leave you alone, taking your belongings, physically abusing you, mentally abusing you, and who knows what else. If you are in school at any age and you have no friends that you think will turn to help you, there is friends out there for you, and those friends, they're mental health workers, and if you, when you hear me say that, do not be afraid. That is what they are trained to do, and that is to help talk to you, to get help. These, also in schools, there are there's supposed to be guidance counselors, even teachers and principals. If they are, if they know about this information, more so now than probably what was before, because all this bullying that's going on, you can go to them and say, "Please, I need help." That teacher, the principal, the guidance counselor, the mental health worker, they will sit down and listen to you. You've got to let them know what is going on so where they can get you help. If you have a doctor that you go to, let the doctor know that you are being abused. If you know a nurse, let her know these individuals are trained to assist you in finding you a safe place. Whether it's at home, at school, at work, or at play, there is help. And the help is available to those who will look for it. You may have to have a little work, so before you think about doing anything else, remember there is help for you, and it's out there. And somebody will have their hand out for to you to say, Hey, come on, I'm here for you. Come on, we'll get you help that you need. This flag is us. This flag stands for all of us here in this country. And it stands for freedoms for people around the world. If you know someone who is being abused, you've got to take a stand. Get in touch with the, the right people. And together, together we can make a change in that life of that person who is suffering from either being bullied, beat on, mentally abused, verbally abused, stuff taking their personal belongings, taken away from them, their pride. It is time for that to stop. At whatever age that you are at, in whatever age or whatever class you're in at school, if you know of someone who is being abused by, by a bully, some bully is abusing this person, you have got to take a stand with that person and you've got to get them help. Through this, the word fear is what surrounds the person who is being abused. So yes, it will take many others to help stand with that person. But together, together, together we can make a change and we can help this person. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for this bullying to stop. 
It is time to find a means and a way to where we all can sit down and communicate and find out what's going on in the lives of those who are bullying these individuals. Because something, and their parents probably don't know about it either. But it's time for a change. Start looking, pay attention, take notes. Take notes. Help someone today. Help stop bullying. God be with us all. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.